Although it was a recognized masterpiece at its time, the birth of Venus by Botticelli hasn't been widely admired and appreciated until later centuries. This painting was inspired by the Roman myth of Venus, the goddess of love and beauty born from the foam of the sea. According to the myth, after Venus was born, she rode on a seashell and headed to the island of Cathira. At the center, we can see Venus, who was standing nude in a giant scallop shell representing her birth from the sea, and she is depicted as an idealist beauty, love, and grace. Her serene and calm expression, along with the gesture of covering herself, also emphasizes the beauty of the female body without being too provocative. On the left side, we can see Jeffers, the god of the west wind who is blowing gentle winds to help Venus towards the shore. Besides Jeffers, we can also see that he is carrying another figure, which is believed to be Clarice, a nymph associated with flowers and spring, who is also helping guide Venus to the shore. Clarice represents life and the renewing power of nature, which can be seen from the scattering flowers around Clarice and Jeffers. This symbolizes the idea of Venus as a symbol of new beginnings and the flourishing of life. Now to the right side of the painting, we can see the Horus, the goddesses of the seasons. The Horus are usually depicted as three goddesses, but in this painting, only one horror is present, which is believed to be Tallow, who represents the season of spring. She is shown holding a floral pattern cloak ready to cover Venus as she reaches the shore. This act of covering Venus represents Venus's transition from the divine to life on land. As Venus is portrayed as a symbol of feminine beauty and grace, many are wondering who might be the muse for this painting. And most people already know the answer, which is Simonetta Vespucci, a noble woman who was known for her beauty in Florence. It is believed that the goddess's serene expression, flowing hair, and graceful pose are inspired by Simonetta. Simonetta's reputation as one of the most beautiful women in Florence makes her the perfect representation of the Renaissance ideals of beauty and grace. Although this painting didn't give many perspectival innovations, the elegance of the classical subjects was something that would have intrigued the wealthy individuals who supported this painting.